Torah TV. The world is thinking. With these new technologies of digital images and being able to share them so quickly, uh, there's being created a record, a documentary record, a visual documentary record of this protest movement that may be unprecedented in world history that there are literally thousands, perhaps millions, of photographs out there in various file-sharing websites that can be used, that will be used, uh, to write the history of this period. Of course, as you've already seen, the famous video taken with the cell phone of Neda Agha Sultan just after she was shot and then as she dies. This video, which went viral, 30, 35 second video, uh, watching somebody die is not for the faint of heart. And yet millions of people have felt they needed to see it. That they needed to see this symbol of how cruel this government has been to unarmed protesters. Aside from the power of the video itself, I am struck by the fact that somebody at this protest, and he's identified himself, saw somebody get shot and the first thing he thought to do within a second or two is take his cell phone, turn on the video, and turn to this person and film her. That's striking. Not running away. Not just taking a quick picture and then running away, but turning on the video and staying and then walking towards her. And you see there's no zoom function on these little cameras. Walking to, up to her face till the final frame the face is almost filling the frame. That person must have been within a couple feet of this dying woman. There's something both cruel to observing that and so media savvy, knowing that you have to get the close up in order to have the full impact. And the idea that somebody was doing that in the middle of all of this uncertainty, not knowing whether the sniper that shot her would be firing again is telling. I think it shows the willingness of this, this movement, or at least of activists within this movement, to take risks themselves, and particularly a risk involved in making a movie, in documenting the movement itself, I think is part of uh, one of the strengths of this movement. And it's, it's uh, a formal element of the telling of the story that may not be obvious from the content where we are struck by the fact that we're watching this woman die. Let's think also about the person who risked their life to walk towards the dying person and get the close-up that moves us so much.